Last week's blowout of Kentucky was impressive, but Jim McElwain and company not totally satisfied. They hope to iron out a few more things tonight. Second and ten from the end zone. Buck is fine, and he's down. Safety. And this is how the game starts. You see right here, just an easy rush right there for Brantley. Gets the rip up, and he gets the sack. The 24 head off to Scarlett. Finds room on the left side, inside the 20. First down, and he is out near the five-yard line. Out of the hold of Johnny Townsend. Fine, has to scramble. Big loss, fourth down. With a quad injury, taking no chances with their star receiver. Play action, going deep again, Del Rio. Hammond deep, makes the catch! It's Thompson. He is not going to get him. Fine steps up. Hammer. First and 20. Del Rio swings it out. Cronkite has some real estate. Gain of 15. Second down and four now. Del Rio deep handoff. This is Cronkite again, and he'll sashay in. First touchdown for the Gators tonight. Here comes the rush. Fine, ducked one tackle, but ultimately goes down. Third sack. Oklahoma wants to throw on second down, but he is going to be suffocated at the 15-yard line. 43 today. Wow. Del Rio. Ooh, getting away is LaMichael P. Ryan. He's loose along the sideline. Former NFL great himself. Going to go to the tailback. That's going to be a first down. That is going to be a touchdown for Florida. Just 14 yards of total offense for the mean green here in the first half. Fine pumps. Comes over the middle. Intercepted. Marcel Harris. To fake it to him. Del Rio. Pressure. Hit. Wobbling pass toward the end zone. Tipped up in the air. And it's incomplete. The quarter on the reverse looking to throw it but Tyler Wilson is going to be dumped for a loss fine off the low snap trying to find a pass play can't Jared Davis and another Gator sack that's five on the evening he had an interception last week in the Kentucky win wow another sack for these Bull Gators <laughs> you are very right. Florida school nonetheless, but right. very different team. Oh my! What a hit by Duke Dawson. There's one conversion on third down tonight. Fine going down the sideline. Well played by Wilson. I have a feeling the head ball coach will be helping with that fundraising effort now that he's back here in Gainesville. Good run for Scarlett. We hope he enjoys his retirement whenever that starts. Oh, it's intercepted. Del Rio. Being overshadowed right now by the cat at Louisville. Lamar Jackson. Del Rio got pressure from behind, got rid of it. Has incomplete intended for Powell. There's a flag down in the backfield, and so is Del Rio. He got pasted, and he may have taken a low hit. Wheeler had 16 sacks in junior college last year. This guy is a headhunter. He came in low, and that's the reason for the personal foul. Josh Wheeler comes in. Obviously, Coach McElwain, passionate about his player. Wheeler was penalized. Personal foul puts the ball at the 45-yard line. Thompson on the run. Austin Appleby, a 6'4", 240-pound senior at quarterback now for Florida. And another flag on the field. And the officials better get this game under control quickly. After the play was over, personal foul, number 73 on the offense. Number 73 is disqualified. This is the reason number 73 was ejected. He threw a punch. See it there. I don't know if that I, was a punch. Boy. I don't. I thought. I don't know. That's what the officials I don't like contend. 
There was a punch thrown by Martez Ivy. Here's Thompson ripping out the big run. First down and more. Inside the 20, down to the 17 yard line. Martez Ivy ejected for what the officials claimed was throwing a punch. There goes Thompson. What a run! And he hurdles a defender to get into the end zone. A 20 yard run. Look into the end zone, throwing it incomplete. It's a lot of good secondary third level type kids right there in the Metro that he's going to be able to try to get recruiting. Scarlett falls ahead for a touchdown. And now this ought to be interesting. Seth Luttrell coming to midfield. Jim McElwain making his way in that direction.